All right, today we're hitting arms. Probably doesn't need a lot of introduction, but you know, uh, I'm gonna be working out in the school gym today. Uh, feeling pretty good this morning. Uh, already had my coffee. I've been getting up pretty pretty late. I think it's just because I've been sleeping in. I set my alarm and it went off at like 5:30, like I had planned. But it turns out I'd only gotten seven hours of sleep up to that point because I'd spent my entire night working on an English assignment. So that kind of sucks. I had to read freaking four chapters of To Kill a Mockingbird, which we're studying in English class. I mean, it's not it's not a bad book, but I hate to uh, to waste my time that's usually devoted to sleep like that just to read a book so that I won't be behind in class tomorrow, right? Just reason number 367 to despise the school system, I guess. So yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking this morning. Uh, yeah, I know, I know it's kind of like a sucky attitude, right? It's kind of kind of a bad mental state to start the day out in, but <clears throat> I tend to work pretty well when I'm short on time, when there's a lot of negative emotion going around, right? I mean, the weather out today, it's hot. It's kind of like moist. It's kind of uncomfortable to be wearing something like this. Like my shirt's sticking to me. I'm sweating. It's like it's like not hot out it's like pretty cool out but then again like the the sun's coming out and it's like very humid so it's uh it's just very unpleasant to be outside right now but uh whatever i shouldn't i shouldn't complain that much though i am sweating a lot uh yeah i gotta start waking up a little bit earlier i think i i typically wake up at like 4 a.m but that requires me to go to bed at like freaking 7 o'clock, which I often don't have time for because my bedtime routine takes so long because I gotta meditate, I gotta gratitude journal, I got to do these affirmations, visualizations, everything, so that, you know, I'm able to do my work the next day and basically just not bitch out. So yeah, that's that's one of the big constraints, I think, in my life currently. Um, I know I have been doing cooking vlogs. Um, I, I've actually made two. But I've only uploaded one because the other one, I ran out of space on my phone halfway through filming it. So that didn't really, really work out. Plus, I can only really, like, make dinner on weekdays, which then, you know, I live in a family. So people got to be places at certain times. So I can't just make dinner at, like, 7 o'clock and expect, and expect people to, uh, to eat because they got to be places. So it's got to be done by, like, 5 o'clock, 5.30. So that's, that's a little annoying. Plus all the recipes that I use for baking, they take they take such a long time that um you know I just need more time honestly, or I gotta just make like a worse a worse kind of dinner, which I, I guess I guess I gotta get comfortable with doing if I want to um just pump out content, right? I mean I do want to make it for you, right? I I do want to um get myself out there, but then again I am a little afraid to sacrifice my time and my effort to something that might fail. Um, like making dinner, right? That that might not go so well, and especially if I'm filming it, if it fails well while I'm filming it, I basically just wasted like two hours of my time trying to film something that turned out to be an absolute failure. Plus, I failed my family as well in that situation where I haven't even you know like given them food because I've like I don't know burned something or just haven't gotten it ready on time, right? And then people miss their opportunity. It's just like a miserable ordeal, and then they probably won't let me um, cook for them at all in the future. Which, I mean, it's just so annoying. I mean, like, how do I how do I get ahead in this situation, I wonder. But, yeah, it's just something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to figure out. I got a lot of stuff to do um, in terms of, you know, money and everything. I got a long checklist of stuff to do. And I think that I'm just, like, a little afraid to start doing it, honestly. I'm, I think I'm limiting myself in terms of um, what I could be doing right now. Because I'm just too afraid of the consequences of me actually, you know trying to convince people to, trying to convince certain people to, to do certain things plus I spend six hours in this building called school where I basically just spend most of my time just sitting there like a passive zombie 90% of the stuff in school that I'm learning I could do without I mean I've made I've made entire videos on this about how the school system is you know just ineffective but like really it just it just pisses me off that I gotta still be here despite having already been in it for like 10 years. I'm like, I, I haven't learned anything of value like at all. Like it's, it's such a waste of time. It's such like, it's such a, 
I see that as a disrespect towards me, right? Like, it, it, it's just so frustrating. Like, it, it just pissed me off so bad. But, you know, it's just, I guess, I, I guess that's all um, negative emotion that I can just work off in the gym. But, yeah, um, this probably is, isn't something, you know, all these, all these concerns that I have. These probably aren't things that I want to make a little bit too confusing. I don't want to overthink them at all, especially when I'm in front of the camera. So I guess it's better that I just do them and get them over with. I got a hike that I'm going on in about a month from now, and I got to start getting, getting ready for that. I'm actually kind of in charge of making the meals for that, so I guess I guess I'll have to start playing that. I might, I might fill some content while I'm on the trail if my freaking phone doesn't die, right? But, um... Yeah, we'll see what happens for that. And yeah, I gotta get a new payment link, a new donation link, right? Um, so that the money that you might choose to give, so that that money might actually go through. So there's that as well. And uh, yeah, I guess I guess we'll just get to it. So yeah, I will see you in a couple of hours. <laughs> That was a pretty average workout, I think. Nothing, not much to complain about, but not much um, super thrilled about either. I did go for um, overhead press PR, which I forgot to film, but <clears throat> went for a PR of uh, 120. My current PR is 115, but I went for 120 and uh, almost got there, but didn't uh, next time, I guess. So I got a little bit of an issue with the lateral raise, right? When you're going like that, I'm trying to go a little bit more with um, my arm straight, like that. 
compared to going like this when the reps get really hard, right? Because going like this kind of makes it less of a lever, right? Because extending your arm like that makes it more of a lever and uh, thus <clears throat> quite a bit tougher to um to pull the weight compared to just going like this with your arms, right? Just kind of like tucking them in so that you have less of a lever and thus it's more um it's more easy to uh to lift a certain amount of weight. So yeah, there's that that I wanted to improve. I know there's like different techniques for uh, lateral raises to build bigger delts, so I guess I'll try those out, but the main point of, um, or I guess the main strategy to making success in fitness is to basically just stay consistent and uh, stop jumping from exercise to exercise, just not really committing to anything but trying everything out because you think that this third this, uh, this certain thing that you try is going to get you all these amazing results with um, this new technique or this new form or this new compound movement or this new exercise. But to a certain degree, really just doing anything and just committing to it and having faith that it's going to work for you and just grinding really hard at it <clears throat> is the fastest way to make gains. The fastest, the fastest way to make gains is through basically just consistency. And I think... I think I've had to apply that to my fitness journey currently as well. I mean, my longest periods of just making insane gains by far has just come from me, A, knowing what I'm doing within the gym, and B, just hitting workouts again and again and again and again, just so consistently because I have faith that they will work, and I have evidence that, you know, it is working for me, right? So, um... Yeah, that's, that's just the main challenge, or one of the main challenges that I've been having recently or throughout my whole uh, fitness career. But uh, yeah, consistency, consistency is really important within the gym. Forgive me if this video sounds a little disconnected, right? Like my thoughts that, that I'm trying to get into the camera, you know, it sounds like I'm rambling a bit or if the, uh, you know, it, it just sounds like I'm not articulating myself. Well, it's mostly because I've just eaten. You know, I don't eat a lot of carbs, but um, my mental faculty just kind of goes away a bit after I eat. So there's that. Yeah. Anyways, I gotta, I gotta get ready for bed soon, even though it's still bright out. But you know, no rest, no rest for the diligent. And I gotta get up early tomorrow morning. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next video. All right, I'll keep everyone posted. See you later.